your storm tracker weather with Chief Meteorologist Chicago Wendler. Dreary for this Easter weekend. A couple of showers around. Can't even rule out a stray isolated thunderstorm. Plus, next week could be a major warm up. We got the weekend started off on a very wet note, an upper level disturbance that's still out in West Texas. A lot ahead of it, we saw enough lift in the atmosphere to not only bring showers, but also thunderstorms. Some areas picking up almost an inch of rain, while others little to none. Here we're taking a tower cam tour and the threat for any additional thunderstorms still exists through the rest of the weekend, but it is much, much lower. One thing I can tell you is dreary weather is with us. Even though the steadiest rain has pushed off toward the east, it's going to be a struggle. So I have revised downward forecast high temperatures for the rest of the day to the upper 60s. Temps just before 1 o'clock, right around 58 degrees as the last of the steadier rain continues pushing off to the east. It has now moved out of the Austin area, though we can't discount the possibility of a couple of sprinkles from here on out. But I think the thunder threat will not resume for our area probably until early on your Easter Sunday morning. So thunderstorms can't be ruled out until around 7 a.m. Sunday, but we are not expecting anything severe to push across the area. Just to give you an idea of how much rain fell, a very narrow swath roughly right along Highway 290 from Gillespie to Blanco to Northern Hayes to Central Travis on into Northern Bastrop counties and Lee. That's where the bulk of the rain has fallen. Some locations you can see near Bee Cave and near Oak Hill, about 82 one hundredths of an inch of rain, about a half of an inch on the east side of Austin. So yes, some good drought relief. We will take it. Probably the best scenario is when you have rain without the expense of severe thunderstorms. So temps will continue to struggle through the day with plentiful cloud cover. We'll have those southeast winds out of the southeast about 5 to 10 with some occasional higher gusts. And that low off to the west creeping slowly but surely toward us. It should pass right over the Austin area into your Sunday. So the first rain showers and storms we saw this morning are pushing east and away. There could be some more that generate, although I think to a lesser extent in the exact locations for where tomorrow's showers develop, kind of still a little bit on the iffy side. I'll show you two possible scenarios in a moment. But if you're away from the big cloud bank, temperature's quite a bit warmer. It's actually warmer in the Panhandle and in deep South Texas than it is currently in Central Texas. Here's a look at our high resolution computer model, which is keeping things pretty quiet through the rest of the day, with the exception of maybe a stray sprinkle or passing shower. Most areas are gonna stay dry, but there will likely be a whole lot of cloud cover, maybe some breaks as you head toward the east, especially late day. Overnight Tonight and into your Easter Sunday, more showers, maybe some isolated storms possible. This particular computer model is favoring areas south of Austin for the biggest thunder threat. I'm going to keep in a 30% chance, especially into your Sunday morning, and then diminishing rain chances. I think by afternoon on Sunday, we will be dry as we move on ahead into Monday. All right, so this particular computer model really not giving us a whole lot more in the way of rainfall, but let's flip the coin and I'll show you a different computer model in a moment. As for temps, thinking 67, 68 degrees for the afternoon might well do it just because of all the cloud cover for your Sunday, a little bit warmer, still 74 degrees. And given that it is Easter, sunrise time is at 7 to 16 in the morning, and we will likely be cloudy the way things are looking. Sunset tomorrow coming at 752. So here's your hour by hour forecast for Easter Sunday. A few showers possible at 8 a.m. Temps in the mid 50s, maybe around 67 by lunchtime, dwindling rain chances, and we should see some sunshine developing by four o'clock in the afternoon. High temperature right around 74 degrees. Now remember, I told you there are different computer models that are showing different placement for the rain on Sunday. Here's a second opinion. Clouds increasing, and instead of the highest chances of rain being south of Austin, this particular computer model puts them along and north of Austin. So it all depends on where that track of that upper level low will be. Either way, it does look very light. Temperatures rebounding into the mid-70s by late day, and then we clear those skies out late on your Sunday. In this instance, still not much rain, but the highest totals could be to the north. And in general, over the next seven days, can't rule out up to another quarter of an inch or so across parts of of our area. Then we're going to shift. Next week, the big temperature talk is going to be, will we see 90s? Will we see warmer than 90s? And when will our next cold front push in? I'll tell you what, there's still a lot of disagreement between computer models. Some suggestion that there could be a cold front that pushes through late Wednesday. If that's the case, then Wednesday would be our hottest day.
Maybe that cold front doesn't push through till Thursday, in which case both Wednesday and Thursday could be well into the 90s. Or perhaps the cold front doesn't push through our area until late Friday, in which case we could see a three-day stretch of high temperatures potentially in the 90s and maybe close to records. For now, I'm leaning toward the later front passing through late Friday into early Saturday, but still a lot of uncertainty with that. So I've got your highs in the low 90s for the first time in 2021, Wednesday and Thursday, and possibly mid 90s on Friday. And again, it's very tentative. There's a lot of back and forth between computer models, but the most likely areas to see potential triple digits will probably be along the Rio Grande and out toward West Texas, just to let you know. How much more rain for the upcoming week? This is just another computer model giving us about a quarter to a third of an inch as we head through the next seven days. So that said, the rain that we saw already today, beneficial in every single way. Here's your seven day forecast tweaked with a high temperature now in the 60s for the rest of today. That 80% rain chance was earlier on. I've dropped it to a 20% rain chance for the rest of the day and most areas probably will be dry. Easter Sunday, a 30% rain chance, mainly dry for the rest of next week as temperatures become the big talking point. All right, that is it for me. Hope you enjoyed the beneficial rain and can also enjoy the rest of your outdoor plans without the threat of any more thunder, at least for the rest of this afternoon through the evening. Greg Pollock will have your latest forecast update later on tonight on CBS Austin News. Happy Easter.